Now, we all know that the Great Barrier Reef is in a very fragile state due to coral bleaching, climate change and plastic pollution. Well, it now has to contend with flood water as well. After weeks of devastating rain in Queensland, the flood waters have now reached 37 miles offshore and is starting to smother the coral at the Great Barrier Reef. Scientists are worried that the flood water will block out light and might slowly start killing coral. And to top it off, due to the lack of wind, the flood water is pretty much just sitting there covering the reef. The runoff so far has covered 600 kilometres of the reef's outer edges and because there is no wind to break up the flood water, there is now heavy algae growth blocking out even more light. This lack of light really does have a lot of people worried and if the winds don't pick up, soon this might be the final nail in the coffin for the Great Barrier Reef. The flood was so bad that in some places they experienced a year's rainfall in just 10 days. So yet, by the look of things, this flood runoff is only going to get bigger and cause more problems for the Great Barrier Reef. So is there anything that they can do to stop the runoff? If the wind doesn't pick up soon, what should they do? Maybe a clean-up crew to skim the algae to give the coral a fighting chance? Let's have a chat about it in the comments. Thanks for watching and happy scuba diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.